All right. Okay, buddy, what do you got going here? Well, we're demonstrating uh, various forms of insulation and how one insulation in particular happens to perform better than traditionally insulated attics or other areas of your home. Um, we've got an air seal display here, which we've got an R30 of cellulose insulation. R30 of cellulose, okay. This is an R13 of isonine spray foam insulation. R13 of isonine spray foam. And then the last is an R30 of fiberglass bat insulation. Okay, R30 of fiberglass bat insulation then. Correct. And we're showing that our value is important, but so is air sealing. And if you saw that the ping pong balls in the traditionally insulated attics, how your hot air is escaping, and then the isonine insulated, where it is not only insulated but air sealed, you have no air escaping. So okay. obviously you should be using a lot less energy to heat and cool your home if you not only insulate, but you air seal as well. That's extremely important. And the isonine product does both. Correct. Foam insulation in general does both. Uh, you're gonna have an air sealing plus an insulation. Uh, so you don't have to worry about air leaks, either infiltration or exfiltration into the home. Okay, so this is the, uh, the ball on the fiberglass R30, and you can see we've got some air. Isonine, nothing. Correct. And then on the cellulose, which is a little surprising, you also have some air that's able to get through. Um, a lot of people will comment that uh, cellulose uh, is an air barrier, and it is not. None of the traditional insulations are air barriers by themselves. Foam, whether it's isonine or any other foam product that is a spray foam like that, is an insulation and an air barrier in one product. How much does the isonine cost compared to, let's say, fiberglass or cellulose? Two and a half to three times uh, higher than, than traditional insulated walls. But when you figure that the energy savings you're going to see, it will easily pay for itself in just a few years. And you basically can take a look at this display and again see the benefits. You're looking at on the left side the cellulose, in the middle the isonine, on the right fiberglass bats, and you can see the air leakage or the air infiltration on uh, by simply looking at those balls. And also look at the temperatures. At the very bottom down here is where our heat source is. Basically your living room. This would be like your living room and your ceiling. And then if you look at the temperature down there and the temperature gauges on each one of these, how much cooler the isonine is compared to the other two traditionally insulated, showing that you're not losing the heat. Noticeable difference, we've got 84.2 on the cellulose, on the isonine it's 72.9, and over here on the fiberglass it's 83.5. So and there is a noticeable difference, what's yeah. What's the temperature in your house? Obviously it's not gonna be that high. 111.2 down there. Yeah, and where's the heat source? Immediately under the isonine as well. So it's all to show that uh, while our value is what we've all been brought up to be familiar with, air sealing is equally important.